I just know things are gonna happen. Like, no, like I'm gonna win the lottery or something like that. But somebody's calling. So this person is gonna tell me to to go for out, or this person is gonna be waiting for me. And or like with friends, like this person is not gonna come today. Like, yeah. it has become like I always had the intuition, but now it's like more active because it's actively integrated in your day. Yeah, it's more active and it's more clear. No, it's less confusing. It's like a. I suppose it has to do a lot with the daily meditation. It clears up your mind and puts everything in its own place. So your intuition, or your inner voice, if you prefer to call it like that, it has easier chance to speak than before because your mind is more clean. Yeah. It's as simple as that. It's just simple exercise. If you do physical physical exercise every single day, it's going to be much less effort to pick up. Uh, a big bag of groceries or other things yeah. because your body is ready so it's easier to listen to your voice because your mind is ready just a constant practice and actually I find it great I find it great I find well. great that I put it in this habit because of course theoretically rationally logically you already know that it's going to be good for you and when you do it, you are you, you're doing good to yourself. But when you do it sporadically, instead of consistently every single day, you don't appreciate the difference. You know it's good for you, but it's not like doing it every day. It makes the whole difference. Same with the walk. Like for me, sometimes it's hard with the conscious observation because I'm a lazy cow. Another thing that is happening is much easier to write. And that's because right. the mind yes, is clear true. as well. Well, for example, my last post was very short, but because I was exhausted yesterday. Yeah. But it is true that sometimes I wrote the post very, very late, as I used to, and it just comes. Yeah. It just comes. The reflections are clearer, and like my mood is clearer. And we are flowing more. And we are flowing more. I do. I think I do even prettier as well. Well, you do. <laughs> and. And yes, like the only thing that I have to admit that is a bit harder for me is the daily conscious walk because sometimes I just don't want to leave the house or just be working in the bar and so I didn't do the conscious walk yet. Today it's there but that was a particularly complicated thing. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so far that's this show, this day 47 of the challenge, this is the fifth show. Yeah. And uh, it's gonna be 12 shows that are gonna follow the challenge and maybe after the challenge, depending on the post. We'll see how it goes. But I have to say that the conscious will be able to do it my best day. Yeah. Specifically. For me, the walk itself is a great excuse because I, I like walking and before I didn't have an excuse to do it, so I tended to be lazy, I preferred to read, it was colder. I had many excuses not to do it. Now I have it. I have an excuse for which I have to do it. And I'm doing it a lot. I'm walking even more than I should. Uh, one different thing is being observant though. Because the conscious observation, like we defined at the start, it's supposed to bring you attention to the present moment to see what's happening around you and especially the past week which has been very difficult uh, emotionally for me because I was in a roller coaster that is still not uh, it just started after finished. the last show yeah um, it's very hard not to daydream it's very hard just to pay attention to the present moment but I keep doing it I keep doing it and I realize conscious observation comes unexpectedly when I'm doing other things sometimes. Not necessarily when I'm walking, it's sometimes when I'm, when I'm working or sometimes when I go to the grocery yeah. shop. Um, it just kicks in on its own and I'm not looking for it but it kicks in anyway. And that's another good change, I have to say. Sorry. It was asking for it. Yeah, anyway. I, I feel the same with the conscious observation, like it just kicks in sometimes while I'm working, it just kicks in, like I think I can consciously observe the world better now in general, that I do it every day, forcing myself to do it, uh, a walk more, longer or less, long. and 
as well I have to say that I think we said it before but like if you go out with a friend and this friend is speaking to you and you really do listen that's conscious, obs conscious observation as well you have to observe it with your ear to, to the reality that is around you definitely and I think that we cannot the, the whole point of the conscious observation was observing synchronicity observing all these coincidences and well, we learn the most from the people that we have around, our enemies and our friends. So therefore, observing them and observing what is going on in their minds is equally important in my opinion. Even though, said that, I think that conscious work as a tool that we've been using is as well a powerful tool in order to connect with the place that you are. Yeah, definitely. Um never stopping walking. Yeah, like I, I, I did the walks every day, but sometimes I have to admit, well, it's on the post. Sometimes, I don't know if they were 30 minutes of actual walking. The important thing is that you do 30 minutes of observation. It doesn't yeah. have necessarily to be a walk, because we also said it at the start, sometimes it's too hot or too cold, or you have physical impediments with which you cannot go out. The important thing is that you keep observing. Yeah, and try not to judge too much, just just stop tapping to this feeling of curiosity about the world and just trying to fulfill that curiosity. Like for example, the other day I went to, to pay my landlord and I was walking in the park that I always walk and it was nice, but then I was about to go back home because I was tired. And, but then this curiosity kicked in. I said, oh, maybe you should go to Hill. and I went to Caldock Hill. And I had a very nice walk, to be honest, and I, well, I, I moved my body, as I say, been quite lazy lately. They moved my body and felt the, na felt the nature around, and it was great. It really made my day better because I fulfilled my curiosity. Like, sometimes the curiosity doesn't kick in and it's like, okay, go back home, okay? Uh, but when the curiosity kicks in, just follow it because telling you that it wasn't so one on a battle, like it was on a battle. Yeah. Okay. So, do you okay. want to go on to the definition of the day? Hello. Today's definition is energy. Energy is a word that, a word that it's used all the time nowadays. Like I like I use it all the time, but for obvious reason, like I'm I'm a witch. I like to do all spiritual stuff. But you can act, especially in English language. I think that it's something that everyone uses, like the vibe or the energy. This place has a bad energy. This place has a bad bad vibe. It's referred to the same. What this energy? And it's, I think it's one of the most important words to use. Fine, sorry. Because of my water. Because, well, everything is is made of energy. Energy. Defining energy is a bit complicated because obviously there are many kinds of energy, but the principle of the energy is that it has, I guess, strength and, and movement. Like. Yeah, energy for me is like, it's movement, it's potentiality, it's, it's us, it's our body as well, it's made of energy. Energy is that, I imagine it like a, an electric field all around that configures everything with, with vibration, but it's not electricity, it's made of, of waves. And those waves have this, this flow, it is not this flow, no, this, strength in them and that's what the energy is, is movement up. la fuerza, la fuerza, why you say that it, the force, the force in Star Wars, so that would be energy for me, to be honest, like it's like the vibe, yeah the vibe, it's that force that creates everything in a dynamic and uh, constantly recycling or like self like a wheel so it's always rolling but it's no 
we're gonna have a wall in front of it because the wall is gonna be made made by high energy. So like doesn't matter if there is a wall, it's gonna be it's gonna go through the wall because it's cement. In its primordial uh, state, in its primordial, its primordial, how you say it? Its primordial essence, in the f***ing essence of the energy, everything is energy and everything is made of the same. And then there are, and then it combines in different ways. That would be my definition. So, energy, like you said. Force and uh, everything is made of it in its primal essence. Energy for me has lots to do with projection as well. Like you said, it's movement. It has a lot to do with vibration. It has a lot to do with heat. There are many different forms of energy as we know them. Uh, Energy is something that actually has an impact. Energy is never inert. Energy is never passive. There is a pull or a push always when you talk about energy. The definition, the, the most obvious um, definition of energy should be movement as well. Movement towards something, movement towards a different temperature, movement towards a different sound, vibration, velocity. Um, energy is expression as well. It's something that from being simply there impacts other things all around. And when you impact something, you're expressing part of yourself in one way or the or another. So that's how I see energy. Energy is how life expresses itself in any different form. When energy stops, there's no movement. When movement stops, there's no life. So it's a simple definition. I don't have much to add to what you said. It's so big and so simple and yet so um, not necessarily obvious to see these days on a daily basis. Emotions are energy, thoughts are energy. A slap in the face is energy. It's amazing. So you want to slap in the face someone? Uh, sometimes. That would help a lot. It would express my life force in a very beautiful way right now. Or not. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I would define it as an expression of life force. Simple. I don't know. If you have any other definition that can complete it or that you feel that express it better, please share it with us. That's what we're here for.